Emotional moments in the courtroom on Tuesday as Marion Proctor, Maggie Murdoch's only sister, took to the stand speaking out publicly for the first time, recalling the events of June 7, 2021. I just couldn't believe it. Maggie's sister taking the stand, describing her last conversation with her sister just hours before the murders. Mr. Randolph was not doing well at all, and Alec really wanted her to come home that night. She hadn't planned on it. Um, but that he needed her to come home and um, Paul was going to be there too. And I said, well, Maggie, I said, you know, Alec and his dad are super close and that's probably what you should do. You encouraged her to go to Moza. I did. Was that the last time you talked to her? Yes. Prosecutors hoping to show how the boat case was weighing heavily on the Murdoch family. He said that um, his number, number one goal was clearing Paul's name. And I thought that was so strange because my number one goal was to find out who killed my sister and Paul. Murdoch's team using personal anecdotes to portray Murdoch in a different light. One of the hunting dogs got hung up in the one of the kennels. Yeah. Choking to death. Yes. And that dog was badly injured, wasn't he? It was. It and, didn't survive. And the decision was made to mercy to put the dog down, wasn't it? Yes. And Mr. Allen couldn't shoot that dog. He asked you to do it, didn't he? Yes. And highlighting his close relationship with his family. You tell the jury what you believe Alex's relationship was with Paul. I think they had a, a very good relationship. Um, they, they loved all the same things. Tell the jury what do you believe Alex's relationship with Maggie was. It was good. It wasn't perfect, um, but Maggie was happy. The forensic pathologist who conducted the autopsies of Paul Maggie's bodies finished her testimony Tuesday morning. Proctor's husband, Bart, took to the stand after her. Representatives from GM and a forensic accountant who looked at Murdoch's finances around June 7th took to the stand on Tuesday. Now, coming up on Wednesday, jurors will be tested for COVID-19 first thing in the morning by a doctor. If there's a positive test, delaying this trial could be considered. Reporting in Colleton County, Riley Benson, Count on 2.